to talk about your experience out here today. Uh, getting these guys some rides, and I guess they're going to take your car for a spin. Yeah, they're going to get to take it for a spin now, and they got a little bit of a benchmark, so it's, uh, it's fun. You know, we second time we've done this program. We did it at Pikes Peak, you know, three or four years ago, I guess it was, and, um, and, and enjoyed it. Um, it was something that Barney and his family have been involved in uh, with these guys coming out from Denver, uh, Dr. Falsi, and I've uh, been kind of supporting that program. So it's, uh, it's definitely neat to see uh, how they're using the technology and, and involving racing and race cars and all that. But for me, honestly, it's just fun to get to take these guys for a ride and show them a little bit of what we do and uh, give them a little bit of a feel for the Monster Mile. So it was a lot of fun out there today and uh, hopefully they enjoyed it, it seemed like they did. Joe Garoni, Furniture Row Racing. This is just an awesome project to be involved with. You know, we spend week in and week out racing on the racetrack and competing and trying to provide entertainment for race fans. So when you can be involved in a project that actually makes a difference in somebody's life and you get to see that joy that they express after getting a ride in a, in a real NASCAR cup car, it's really exciting. It makes it feel real satisfying to be involved with this kind of a program. What do you look forward to in the future? Are you good? What do you look forward to in the future of the program? I didn't. I didn't hear you. Uh, what do you look forward to in the future of the program? Well, it's going to be really exciting in the future of the program to watch the adaptive systems that are coming out and the technology that's being developed and and then how it gets implemented in the cars is going to be really exciting to see. So stay tuned. There's a lot more exciting stuff to come. My favorite. You kind of follow the black rubber marks, right? So you're straight away into the corner. And don't hit the wall. It's <laughs> <laughs> the biggest difference between this car and yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was the top speed you know that you guys hit today with these guys? No idea. As fast as it would go. 126. 26 point something, like 137. Seconds, yeah. So we go 21 seconds. So maybe, but I didn't want to blow a tire out or anything, you know? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> With somebody in the right side. Back to roll one. We're not no, sure we wanted that kind of ride. No. <laughs> Alright, so we'll get, we'll get you guys in. You didn't, you didn't go yet, right? Okay, you're next up. Okay. Yeah, the driving part is yeah. That's the cool part. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> It was really hard, but like the first race day, I was like, I felt like I was like further back and forth. Okay. He kept on making closer to the wall. I didn't have to move away. Yeah. By the time I caught up there, he was coming right back down.
You're coming into that corner and it's like he starts to slow down a little bit and then accelerates through it. It's just wild. The feeling of it is crazy. It was really fun. Uh, what kind of experience yeah. is this compared to other things you've done is to be able to get in the race car and, and go around the track at 100 plus miles an hour? This is something that I never thought that I'd be able to do. You know, this is, this is a once in a lifetime experience for me. Um, you know, I never had huge aspirations to drive race cars. That's not sort of my passion, but to get outside and be active and do things like that, that's what I love to do, and this is a new experience for me, and this is incredible. What's your, your thoughts on that? Uh, Jason Doyle, and I just got in this thing and drove it down, pedaled to the metal, and it was awesome. Um, one of the coolest things I experienced, like I said before, I didn't think that something like this could, uh, could be done in my lifetime in a wheelchair, and uh, Fauci made it possible, but I think I might have set the uh, track time here, just got to look at the charts when we get home. The computers are shut down right now, so we don't know, but we'll find out. Thanks, man. Yeah, uh, the project uh, originally got inspired by a former patient of mine who was spinal cord injured. He was an avid race car driver beforehand, and he uh, had to have surgery, and he had mentioned that he really was dying to get back into a race car. And so uh, we thought, wow, that could be a great adaptive sport for the spinal cord injured community and the dis disabled community. And that inspired us to build a race car for him with just some standard uh, uh, hand controls.